Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. It's John here on what is a pretty lovely day here in Lincolnshire. It's still a cold one, but we're here with the Rover 75. Now, the front end is still off, as you can see. Uh, we've got it out of the garage today to have a look at other bits and pieces. And, well, we found something that's a little bit less than uh, useful. <laughs> I say that. Dad's found something, he's just gone around there. Uh, Dad's found something that's a little bit less than handy, which is a little bit of rot. And it's disappointed me in a way, but also I was probably going to be expecting it. Um, if you remember when we did a walk around of the car, we looked at the sills, we checked out the, the front sills here and they were all fine. Well, <laughs> we've discovered after having a bit of a tap, tap, tap along there, a, a bit of a hole in the outer sill. That is on the driver's side. Passenger side is not uh, too bad, but the way that we've found this is Dad's been uh, going to check out the rear brakes and make sure that they're all ready for the Rustival Fest and uh, discovered uh, upon trying to jack it up that it was a little bit weak there, has poked it and, and we found a hole. Uh, as you can see though, new discs and pads and springs at the back, which is a winner. We're going to have a chat with Dad. He's going to tell us a little bit more about it, what we're going to do, and uh, how we're going to try and repair that hole in that cell. <laughs> Just before we do that, I want to show you uh, the back sill here. There's a little bit of water in there, but that is the hole. And there's a little bit of rust there as well which I kind of knew about, but didn't expect there to be a hole. Oh well, these things are set to dry us. We'll have to, uh, have to repair it. Right, so then, uh, you might see they're a bit wobbly today as well. Uh, I left my uh, gimbal at home. Sorry, hello. Good morning. morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? Very good, thank you. Well, we found a problem, right? Yeah, just a little one. Uh, tell me about that. Tell me about what you've discovered and what the plan is. Well, I was just about to jack it up and I thought, hmm, better see how strong that is before I put the jack under the jacking point and poke my finger through the sill. It's uh, not something that was glaringly obvious, was it? There was no major rust bubbles, as we've seen in previous videos. Um, and it's quite far underneath the car, so on a quick stomp around, it's something that you or I clearly didn't see. Um, not my job. <laughs> Not your job at all. On my pay grade. So tell us about the hole, tell us about what's caused it, how you found it, uh, and what the plan is. <laughs> well, once I've looked on the interweb, it appears they all go there. And it looks to me like she's a bit tender all the way from here to there. Yeah. Well, I didn't even press that with my thumb, I just went... Pfft. And poked straight through the sill. Yeah. A bit like paper, really. Okay. There was water dripping out of a hole there, so I thought, oh, you can see, that's just a finger size hole. But this bit, it is rotten as someone I've seen on the internet. So you're thinking it could be the outer sill as opposed to the inner sill? Well, no, it all wraps round, son. There's a big strengthening thing in there, and then this bit wraps round and fits round there like that. What's the plan? You're going to have to take some paint off to see how far it's rusty. Mm, yeah. So it could be a whole new sill. No, could be a repair it, patch. It's not a whole new sill, is it? Have you looked at the front as well? Yeah, we were, I looked at the front earlier. It's Fine. all right. The front, yeah, the front's all right. So the front on both sides yeah, are okay. There's no signs of rust at all. So what's caused that? Just water getting in and water corrosion? Water gets in there, mate, won't it? I've been looking at the internet, they all do it. Okay, big job, are you worried about it? You don't know to have seen how far it goes, do we? <laughs> right, okay, so... Can you remember seeing me put that sill on my Peugeot? What are you doing on the floor? <laughs> it's not as bad as that. Okay, I do remember seeing you put a sill on the Peugeot and it, it's not as bad as that. No. I also remember us cutting a big hole in the sill of my MR2. Yeah. Is it as bad as that? Yeah, it's worse than that. Hmm. Okay. Well, these things are set to dry us. Uh, there's a hole in the sill. It's not an MOT pass. We've got to fix it, right? Yeah, it's, oh, it's in a prescribed area. Yep. Uh, exactly. So we've I've got, got a fix solution. It. What's that? I've got a solution. Hang on a minute. What's the solution? 
<laughs> gallon of petrol. And a yes. Mash. Yes. We'll Obviously, take, we we'll, jest. We'll take it down the marsh <laughs> and we'll light it and run. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll not do that. No, let's not do that. No. But, uh, but I don't want to clutter my marshes up. <laughs> exactly, we don't want to make a mess of the marsh. All right, fine. So we'll get the wire brush out, we'll get the angle grinder out, we'll get the wire wheel out. We'll start taking some paint off, I suppose, and see, see how bad it is. <laughs> this could go one of two ways. The next video could be, I've scrapped the Rover 75. No, it's not that bad. Um, but it's less than ideal. It's not what we wanted. Let's see how we get on. Don't want to get so on. we're testing the uh, passenger side as well. You've jacked it up underneath the sill, which is good news, meaning that, well, it's, <laughs> it's not crunched and rotten that side. What have you noticed this side? Uh, it's got new discs and pads. Nice. Got new springs, all been waxed, all the spring has. And that's the thing. So in, any, in none of the MOT history has any rust or rot or corrosion ever been noted. Do you think that that's the sort of thing, that hole that could have happened in a year? Oh, I. It can go from just being a rust spot to being a rotten in a moment year, yeah. Interesting. There you go. It's all right. It's not a problem. <laughs> I was absolutely <laughs> devastated when Dad told me about it. Because um, it is, it is, well, you can see it now. I can stand here and see there's a hole in the sill. We've got to fix it. It's got to be repaired. It's MOT so, fail anyway. Just how we do it. Because you could start uh, stretching and it'd be the end. Right, well, faint heart never won fair maiden. We're going to have to uh, start the work on this sill then. Uh, what's the plan? Let me get, oh, I've got on my hands and knees and it's bloody freezing down here. Right, here's the sill. What we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna get the wire brush and the wire wheel and we're gonna start taking some paint off to see just how bad it is. I am suspecting quite bad, uh, but we're gonna have to deal with it, aren't we? There's a hole in the sill, it's an MOT fail. I want the car on the road, I wanna keep it alive. Uh, so let's start <laughs> seeing what the score is. Right, we're going to do this outside as opposed to inside. Uh, it's a relatively nice day, but it's blooming freezing. Dad's moving the car uh, out the way so we can access the hole. Excuse me, there's a hole in your Rover. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute, where's the front end? Maybe that's the least of our worries. Do you want an axle stand? Safety first. Make sure you've got your axle stands under. Now we've got it jacked up a bit, you can uh, see that hole a little bit better it's sort of like well finger size inside doesn't feel it doesn't feel bad inside it's it's mainly just that area there so we're just uh, masking up this is the shed version masking up the uh, car paintwork just so we don't uh, get any sparks or debris or dirt scratch the paintwork we're using an old duvet set uh, and we're just taping it with masking tape to the car dad is uh, gonna just mask it up once that's done we can start work okay so we're masked up uh, here as you can see now ready to rumble. <sighs> this could be fun. So safety first, Dad's got his eye protection and his mask and uh, an angle grinder with a wire a wheel attachment on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's no going back after this really. 
Ready? Thumbs up. See what we can see. Another hole found. Well, that's less than ideal. Let's have a look. Okay. So quite a big hole there, a smaller hole there, and the makings of a hole there. It's less than ideal, but in my opinion, that could be a lot worse. I've seen worse. Right, so there's a jacking point here. Uh, it's like a plasticky jacking point that's held in. Dad's going to take that out, which he's done. Let's have a look at that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so that's just held in. The fact that it's not dropped out means that the hole isn't too rusty, I suppose. But uh, as you can see, there's a quite a big hole, or a couple of big holes that we've uh, established in that sill that need repairing, right? They've got to be repaired. So as you saw there, Dad is currently uh, wire brushing where this meets the jacking point to see if there's any holes there. I can't see any new major holes, but also these things are set to try us and it might, uh, it might turn out with a new hole. I can certainly see daylight from here, as can you. Uh, maybe a bigger job than we thought. <laughs> So Dad's uh, angle ground all that out. You can see he's just having a dig now, just to see what the score is. All uh, all around that jacking point. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. There's a bit of a hole, but... I'm not concerned about the structure of the car. Yeah. It's not as bad as that ZT on the form. No. Back to you now, look. Yes. 
Yes, there is some there. Okay, well, we've seen the extent of the hole. It's not as bad as it could be. Let's have a look at the rust on the floor. Ah, light whitening. So this was the first hole, which has obviously extended all this length. This is a second hole, which is just the outer sill. This is a strengthening piece here in there. This is the jacking point here, and there's a hole here as well. But structurally, the car looks good. It has extended to here as well. It could have been a lot worse, but it's not ideal that. It's too late to go back now. <laughs> oh, I can't get up. <laughs> oh, I'm up. Like a beached whale. We'll talk to Dad in just a second. And we'll see how we get on. Well, it's not the most ideal weather situation to be doing this, to be Pretty fair, nice. mate, but uh, uh, you've, you've been down there, you've had your wire wheel on there. Tell me what you've done and what you've found and what the plan is. <laughs> what we've done, son, is we've attacked it with the wire wheel where all the little blisters are, and yes, all the blisters are holes. Which we thought, right? Yeah. We knew that was going to be the case. Let's just have a look at the hole. There's the holes. There's two, we've got two, three holes. And the one underneath. There's a man on the internet sells a panel that goes all the way round here. Yes. Do we need that? I think some people would say yeah. It's not the bit behind there is not rotten. And what is that bit behind there? Well, that's all the structure, son. So the bit that's rotten is purely the outer skin of the sill. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's a bit crusty, the other bit is, but it's not rotten. I'm pleased to blink him, they'll say. Yes. So it could have been a lot worse, is what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, it's a bit crusty there, but this structural part, oh, it's as strong as can be. That's inside there, there's like a big metal piece, which is part of the structure of the car, which is actually the strength. Well, this is just a pretty bit, really, isn't it? Just the sill. But it's not rotten. It's a bit crusty, but it's not rubbing rotten them. But if that had all been rotten, would the car be worth saving? Probably not. Yeah. It's not like it's a ZTT or anything, is it? Well, it's my Wedgwood Blue Cowley pre-project drive 1.8. even sounds, even where I've just peeled that crust off, it sounds nice. And what are you listening for? What sort of noise well, is Well, if it's rotten, it would just sound dull. Dull. Yeah. But it's not cr Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear the difference. Solid. Dead. Yeah. I'm assuming that's because the properties of the metal have just all corroded. And I it's suppose just so, mate. I don't know, really. No good. I'm not a metallurgist, but... Uh, I've seen a lot worse on your forums, anyway. Newer cars than this as well. So, I reckon, but what I've seen here is, we make a patch to repair this out of strong metal, we get an oversill and cut a section out, Yes. and join it in. As opposed to replacing the whole sill? No, he wouldn't do that. Or, uh, or attaching the 
or getting one of them repair panels. No point, right? There's no point in doing a full repair panel if it doesn't need it. There's no point in start cutting at the structure. Well, that man's repair panel comes with the structure in it. It's a fantastic looking thing. But it's not, like I say, it's crusty, but it's not rotten. Look, I okay. reckon we can repair that rather than but chop all that panel off. Good. Well, I'm glad we found it now than at MOT time. I don't know about you. Yep, because it's a prescribed area within 30 centimetres of a suspension component mounting. So the plan then, what's the plan? What's the next plan of action? Get one of them over sills and some repair metal. Yeah, and repair it. Well, I Good. Think so yeah. And if well, we're really careful, we can sort of make it look pretty. Yeah. Okay. You've it's got not... until March the 9th. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's part one then. Part one of the video. Uh, not ideal, right? Not what we wanted to see. But it could have been a lot worse, as Dad quite rightly says. Best uh, is get the parts for it. Yes. Well, it'll keep you busy and it'll keep the content coming because people on the channel... <laughs> Love the content. They love seeing you as well, by the way. So they're going to see you do some metal work and some painting next. Ooh, I don't want to see my painting. <laughs> At least it's black. At least the sills are black and we don't have to start blending in Wedgwood blue. I don't, that's beyond my skill set, that is. <laughs> have a great day. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below. Is that the best way to solve this problem? No, probably not. It's probably get that repair panel, right? And, and put it in. But as a temporary measure... Uh, it's not temporary. Well, as a measure... It's not worth doing temporary measures with car bodywork. As a measure, well, I think that's a way of fixing it, right? Confident? I fixed worse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Until next time, have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs> it's blooming raw now. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. It's John here. You'll notice that I'm not sounding 100% because I'm not 100%, so bear with me. Uh, I've been in bed with the flu the past couple of days. Um, but what better way to recover than to be in the cold here in Lincolnshire in Dad's garage with the Rover 75? If you haven't seen the video on the channel yet, a week and a bit ago, um, Dad was getting the car ready for... Rustival, and a pre-MOT inspection, and poked his finger straight through the sill. The outer sill, thankfully, not the inner sill, was totally rotten. And again, if you haven't seen that video, I suggest you check that out on the channel before you watch this update. Well, as you can see, Dan's been very busy. He's got his sparkle spanner out here, and he's been working on the Rover 75 because, well, I wasn't gonna let a little bit of rust beat us. I say us, Dad. What have we done? Well, in the last video, we ground it down to see just how big the holes were. And since then, Dad's cut a hole out of the sill and uh, had a look behind there just to see how rotten the actual chassis and strengthening is. Now you'll see in just a minute, thank thankfully, that it's not as bad as it could have been. Dad's been busy, as I say. We'll have a chat with him and find out what he's been getting up to and what's next for the Rover 75 repair. Good morning. How are you? Sorry, miles away. <laughs> How are you, all right? Freezing. It is a very cold day here in Lincolnshire. We're with the Rover 75. I've just done a little intro video because you've been busy out here. Um, how are you today, apart from cold? Cold, full of cold, mm. feel blooming lousy. What a perfect day for fixing Rover 75s. Uh, you've been busy. So, uh, what, a week and a bit ago, we found a hole in the sill. Uh, that video is on the channel. It's doing very well. People are calling you a legend and saying that you can fix it, which we know you can. Um, what have you been up to? Because I've been at work, obviously, in, in bed ill. You've been out here ill and at work. I just did an exploratory, but we'll wait until we get the new sill panel, really. So let's have a look then. What have we done? I've cut an hole in the sill, but it might be finished up bigger than that. I've patched a bit of the chassis there, 
but nothing else is welded up until we get the sill. I've made a panel to suit that bit there now. If you can put your camera under there, you'll see what we've made. So let's have a look. So this is the this is the sill. You've made, uh, is this what the, the, the jacking point, is it? It is, yeah. Because actually it was quite rusty in there, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's got all holes in it, that did, so I've plated that. What is that piece there? Is that the, that's it's, the structure, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's the end of the sill. Okay, so we've, we've cut a, or you've cut a hole that's probably, what, a foot and a half long? Yeah, it's about that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and it's not the entire no, not sill, is it? It's the bottom sort of... I'm trying not to go too far up. Inch, inch and a half. Okay, so you've had to fabricate this in here. Yeah. And how have you fabricated that? What have you used to fabricate that? 1.3 mil sheet steel. Okay. And that's Sixth something you had to buy, or is it something you had in stock? Yeah, I had to go down to VRS and get some of that. How much was that? About nine pounds for a panel Ooh. like this. What is it you've got? Oh, this, the sheet steel? Yeah, it's, it's... Okay, so it's quite thick, isn't it, it that? It's thicker than your average bodywork steel, yeah. And you fabricated that on the bench? No. No? You buy it like that, because then you, if, you, if you want a lip like that, you've got already already there. Ah. Because you might want a lip when you're doing bits. But obviously that, that piece that you've you've put in there, you've fabricated that, haven't you? Yes, mate. So how did you do that? Did you take the old bit out and make a template, or how did you do it? Aha! Temple plate. Ah. Wheat, Wheaties box. <laughs> so what did you do there? I put that on there, and I shaped it to that shape, and I made my middle metal to that shape. How long did that take? Oh, I don't know, mate. I could just keep nipping out and having an hour when it's not too... when I feel like it, really. It's too cold to be out here all day. I get my hands get too cold. Yes. So. Right, so that's the piece that you fabricated in there. But this, this bit here I'm, I'm interested in, this, this jacking point repair. Yeah. That's just to strengthen the bottom of that jacking point because it's quite corroded, so I've put some extra metal there. Nothing's welded in yet, not until we get the not until we get the uh, sill panel to see what's happening. There's a lot of grips there, haven't you? Yeah, well, it's just holding that panel on, mate. All the grips are there. I can see that you've also got, uh, sort of obviously, you've got a lot of axle stands and clamps and bits and pieces in place. Right. Yeah. So the next, the next piece, so, so what we've done, for any of you that hasn't watched the last video and are interested, we've ordered uh, a sill, haven't we? We've ordered an yeah. entire sill. Um, there are repair panels available which cover this whole area. Why, why did we not order that repair panel? Because that the delivery time is about four weeks or something, isn't mm. it? And we need to get it ready. For Rustable. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, I think you're pretty talented at fabrication. Not as good as that Tom fella, though. His panels are genius. Yes. It's the, another level, that is. Cheap and cheerful, what, 60-odd quid for a pair panel? You, you ordered him, son. Yeah. Uh, but as Dad says, the, the lead time is four weeks because they are made to order. And they're perfect. They're um, so we've been on to Amazon. We've found a sill. It's uh, just an outer sill, isn't it? Yes, mate. Um, and that's 60-odd quid. That's going to come, and then I'm guessing you're not going to replace the entire sill. No, just this little bit at the end, mate. Just cut a bit out and use it to for the shaped bit, rather than try and shape a bit myself. It's like the right little creases in it, won't it? Yeah. Do you think it's gonna need some fettling when it arrives? I should think so, mate, yeah. Mm. And will you will you see a wiggle in it, or will you take the best piece of the sill? I just have to take the end, shan't I, because I'm, I'm hoping I'm probably gonna finish up coming around this corner. Right. I ain't chopped it off yet, in case. This is, uh, this is the sort of where the wheel arch meets, is yeah. that right? In here. Because it's, to be fair, it's a bit rotten anyway, isn't it, there? It's, a, it's got a bit of surface rust. I don't know what we're dealing with yet until I see it, so I'm being very cautious. Okay. And then the next part will be to weld that piece in. Million. Grind it. Get everything shaped up and then see what's happening, really. We're waiting for that seal, mate, yeah. to be honest with you. So it's going to arrive in the next week or so. Once that's there, uh, it'll be welding it in, hopefully. Shaping it, getting it all tack welded on, welded on. And then angle ground down. Will you use any filler? Well, I was thinking of getting some tar and just tarring it. <laughs> no, That'll do the job. It'll need some filler, so a little bit, won't it? And then paint. It's just about black and a satin black. Satin black. Now, some people on the internet have told me that the Cowley sills are notorious for being quite thick paint. So we'll have to uh, right. Have to try and match that up. And will you end up painting the entire sill? Do you think? Probably, won't we, yeah. yeah. To get the same finish. 
It is satin black though, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah, looks it. It looks satin black to me. Yeah. You've got a spray gun, haven't you? So. No, oh. I'm doing rattle can, shall I? Will you? You're going to rattle can that? Yeah. Oh, braver man than me. But that's it then. So that's the update from uh, Dad's workshop today on the uh, repair with regards to the sill. It's not beaten you yet then? You've not had enough yet? No. No, 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 no. It would have, nice have, have been nice to have had the proper panels, I think, because they're absolutely wonderful. But uh, we'll get it somewhere near. Yeah. Good. Uh, thanks to everyone that's watched the uh, videos on the channel so far. Thanks to everybody who has subscribed. Thanks to everyone that's liked. Um, what do you reckon? Do you think it's going to be ready for the Rustable Festival? If not, it'll have a big hole in the side, won't it? Uh, ready for there. I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Dad's looking forward to seeing you all as well. He's going to do a Q&A session on his time at uh, <laughs> Rover uh, whilst uh, at the Rustable Fest. He doesn't know that yet. But, uh, I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll be pleased to see you all. Have a great day, whatever well you're getting will. up to. Thanks for watching this little update video, as I say. More work on the way. And uh, there'll be a video when it's all welded back together and the process of putting it all back together and nice. Take care. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Well, if it's not going to go right, I shan't fit it. Yeah. I shall chuck it over the fence. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to Dad's Workshop with a little bit of an exciting update. Yes, as you can see here, some new metal has arrived. The new sill has arrived for the Rover 75. Uh, it's a mixed review and we'll talk to Dad in just a minute. As you can see, that is the current situation. We've got the inner sill repaired and patched on the updates that you've seen with Dad and the jacking point there as well. Um, and it's now time to repair and replace the outer sill. I've ordered a sill from Panels Direct from Amazon. It was 60 odd quid and it's come from Poland. Um, it's not great to be honest with you. And Dad is here sort of giving it a little bit of a fettling because it's pretty poor. We'll have a chat with him in just a moment's time. That is currently the situation with the sill. Dad's cut that piece. It's now time to attach it to the car. Hello. Hello, mate. How are you? Uh, good, thank you. Uh, it's a nice day in the workshop. Yeah, brilliant, mate. It's, it's good news because the outer over sill has arrived from Panels Direct. And what are you doing now? You're getting ready to fit it. You're not impressed with it, are you, really? I can't, I can't describe my feelings for it on the internet. No, be honest. People will want to know. Because people might be out there... Trash. It, it's crap, right? It's... Uh, it's not that good. What, what makes it no good? It's not got a shaped end on it. No. It's just a piece of bent tin. Yeah. It's my own fault because I just saw it on the interwebs and it's, say they're handed. If you think they're handed, you think they're going to be shaped at the end. Mm. It's not. So no shaped end. It's just a piece of bent tin. Is it certainly 63 pounds worth of tin? No. What are you doing now then? Because you're bashing the sill. It's not the right shape at the bottom. Are you suggesting it could be a totally different sill? No, it's just, it's just... It's just they're selling rubbish. It's just a piece of bent tin. Yeah. Uh, I might get to the point where I do tell you. We just have to rethink. We'll see. Well, not fit it. Well, if it's not going to go right, I shan't fit it. Yeah. I shall chuck it over the fence. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. Um, there's no point in fitting it and it being no good. Uh, we've got multiple other options, including, is it Tom, who makes a repair panel? Yeah. Was it Tim? I can't remember Tom, his name. Tom at Nottingham. Yeah. Tom in Nottingham. Um, so what are you using? We should have gone that way. Yeah. In hindsight. Well, you know, we can still go that way, can't we? Um, there's no point in getting it wrong. So the plan at the moment then is you've cut a piece of metal that's the right length. Yes, mate. And you're gonna, you've offered it up to the car and, and, and what, made a sort of semi-template again? No, I've just sort of offered it up to the car, realised it's about a mile out, so now I want to see if I can do anything with it. It's pretty useless, the fact that you're having to fabricate. What I can't grasp is, me old mate, if they say, right, it's right and left-handed, and all they send you is a piece of tin, approximately the shape of... If it's handed, it would have had the bloody end on, wouldn't it? And it hasn't got that end on there. No. no. 
Let's put it like this. It's shit. Sorry. It's the only way to describe it. I was... But anyway, we're desperate. Desperate the measures. Yeah, we are desperate, but also, there's no point in rushing it and getting it wrong, is there? Let's face it, we can take it to Rustaville with a hole in the side. It doesn't make, it doesn't no. make a difference. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to do that. Well, it's not going to affect the driving, though, is it? Yeah, it's because it's near the suspension. Oh, fair enough. Um, no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> so it could be that the uh, new sill is repaired. It could be that this is just total trash and we have to get something else. If that is the case, uh, I bought this through Amazon. I, I don't know what Amazon will say. They might say, well, you've got a great big hole in it now, mate. Uh, you're on your own. But I know that Amazon's customer service is normally quite good. So what are you doing now? You're bashing this yeah, lip, this, are you? This lip's not the right shape. Nothing like right. Not enough bend in it, just there. Let's take a look at the... Let me go and have a look at the other piece of, of the sill that they've sent. I see, I understand. So it looks like this. That's quite a big piece of metal, isn't it? And there's some uh, fitting to that, but it's all dented and everything, isn't it? Certainly does require some fettling. It's not... Hello? It's not the sort of thing that I could buy myself, cut out and just put on and expect it to be right. It's going to need some fettling like you're doing. I think if you were paying the body shop for it, you'd regret it. Nah, it's trash, mate. It's the only way to describe it, really. So the plan is, get it offered up. If it's going to look naff, back to square one. You'll be all right. So once you've got it shaped... Got a spent mixer for the filler. Yeah. <laughs> once you've got it shaped, what's the plan? Fit it. And how, how are you going to fit it? Weld it on, mate. Weld it onto the car. That's better, it's coming on there. So see all these marks here? Yeah. All these here? Yeah. Will you see that when they're on the car? These yeah, little ripples? Well, if you lay on your back before I paint it, yeah. Uh, but, but once the paint and... Once it's got a ton of anti-chip on there, it won't see You'll it. never see it. Good. So, maybe some disappointment. Maybe not. We will find out. Don't get this trouble with protons. <laughs> Mm, you're doing all right with that. That's looking good. So you're going to put that now in there. What's this you've made here? That's a bit to go. Made a make a bit to go on the end to make the end proper. Oh, okay. I understand. Do you see? Do you see it? I do. I do. Do you see it? Because it's not. It's not handed properly. It's... For lack of a better term, it's no good, right? Yeah. And we're trying to now make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. No, it's a. It's a. It's. A, it's... Well, hey ho. What you're saying is, you could have probably got some sheet steel and fabricated something better yourself. Probably, mate, yeah, yeah. in the long term. For less than £63. Well, if it was my money, I should be really cheesed off. Hey ho. What, do you think you could hold your hand there? Yeah. You multitask, Ooh. just hold that like that. Like that. Oh, I'm helping. Is this, this is doing the spannering. I think that's been a bit too uh, generous. <laughs> Cheers, bud. So you hammering this edge, this lip... Yeah, trying to get it the same shape as the get it the same car. sort of shape as the actual car? Yeah. OK, looking good. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Is there any other uh, shaping you're going to have to do up here? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's just it's <laughs> it's it's total sh <laughs> 
So you've when you've done, you've bashed that edge, you're going to see if it lines up anyway, shape or form. Oh, so now. if it's somewhere, I'm going to be several does. Several pens. It's not so easy to do it. Ah, it's getting better. That's better. So the profile's looking a bit better, isn't it? It's still mm -hmm. still not yeah, right at the stuff here holding me back. Yeah. Don't worry about that. So what we're saying is it might work, it might not. Well, if I get really cheesed off with it, it'll get chucked in the bin. But anyway, well, I'm not cheesed off with it yet. There you go. So sills have started to be installed, or well, I <laughs> say that. The replacement sill metal has arrived. It's no good. It's trash. It, trash. Needs, yeah. it needs a whole load of fettling. Um, it's not worth the money that we've paid out for, which I'm obviously annoyed about because it's my hard-earned cash, right? Um, but Dad's going to try his best to, to fit that and make it look somewhere decent. If he can't, then, well, it's going to be start again, back to the drawing board. Um, don't buy the £63 Rover 75 sill from Amazon. Um, and it's on eBay as well. Oh, is it on eBay as well? Yeah, I'll put a uh, link in the description so you can see what we've bought and so you can see not what to buy. Uh, so I, I was elated when I saw that the sill arrived after two weeks of waiting and now sort of cheesed off that we're back to the drawing board. Uh, but don't worry because I'll tell you what I have bought today. I've bought some spark plugs. I've got some oil. I've bought some under tray clips and, and I need to get your reaction for this, floor mats. That's just what we need. <laughs> and some original Rover floor mats. That's just what we need. And it needs to be in the car, doesn't it? Good. Floor mats. The car doesn't go very well without floor mats, do it? You don't want to get dirty carpet, do you? Floor mats. Right, thanks for watching. What do you reckon? Uh, is Dad going to spend hours and hours and hours out here fabricating this sill panel for no reason? Yep. Uh, or is it going to work in the end? Let us know in the comments below. Have a great day. If you haven't already thumbsed up, please do. Wish me right. Final word from you. Don't buy that sill off Amazon. Yeah. And it's on eBay as well. Don't buy it. No good. We should have gone to Central Panels. Yes. You know, hindsight, hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye. Can't be helped, can it? Dylan, you're absolute legends. <laughs> this is from Pete's garage today. No, got, John's not here. What? Hang on a minute. That's my line. Get out. Get out. Get out. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. It's John here. What you got there? Cash generator, that's a long old time ago. Uh, we're in Dad's garage with Dad, and this is a second video update, because you've been a very busy bee. We'll have a chat with you in just a second. Uh, with regards to the Rover 75, and the repair on this offside sill. If you haven't seen the first video, uh, we ordered a new sill panel, and for lack of a better term, it was rubbish. Um, to a point where we thought we were going to have to go back to the drawing board. But as you can see, uh, well, it's looking okay at the moment. That's looking good so far. Looking good so far there. Um, go on then, because what yesterday when I spoke to you, you were uh, hammering away at your sill panel. Oh. And we've seen that in the previous video. Yeah. Um, what have you discovered? Has the new, have you, have you had to fabricate something totally brand new or have you used the new sill panel? What have you been up to, Jake? I've, I've used that sill panel as best as it is. I've welded a bit on the end so it's Oh, let's have a look at that, yeah. Yeah, it looks I'll like, shine yeah. your light on it yeah, then it so looks, I can yeah, see. It looks like a seal now. Oh, that looks good, yeah. Okay, so so what, you've you had to fabricate something out of that seal. What have you had to do? Well, I've just got a piece of the seal, mate, and I've, you've still me bashing and bending it to make it something like the right profile at the bottom. And uh, welded this on the end of it, so we've got an end to the seal. And you've just seen me now, I put a guide coat on it to make sure there's no stupid eye spots before I put some filler on it. So... So last time we saw you, you'd got a piece of tin that had arrived that was the sill. Yes, mate. And you were hitting it with a hammer. Yeah. What have you had to do since then 
What have you done to get to that stage? Cut it up a bit more, welded it to that, welded a bit on the end so there. You've, so you've made sure that the shape was okay. Ish. Ish. Let's yeah. have a look. So you've, you've shaped it the best you can. It'll need a bit of filler. Uh, and then what, tack welded it to the car? I tacked it for a start, and now it's, now it's, it's all fully welded now. Yeah. So let's take a look at the picture you sent me, which is the tack weld. And now here we are, you've welded it fully to the car. Yes, mate. Um, any filler in there yet? No, mate. No. So I this just, is all I just de it solid off. metal. I de-aid it off and put a black guide coat on it to see if there's any stupid eye spots. Yeah, so uh, tell me more about that then. So you've put, as you say, some, some, black. some black paint on it. Yeah. Then just flat it off. And that will show us if there is any high spots. If there's any high spots, that's too high, yeah. Any mega high spots? No. Okay. It's mega low spots. Yeah. <laughs> I can see because, yeah, looking down it, it's not... If you look at them, they're not like that anyway. It's not the same profile. No, they're not. You look at the other side. Let's have a look at the other side. It's totally different. In what sense? I can't really see, to be honest with you. Well, there's your welder. How much gas have you got through? <laughs> no, not, not a lot, mate. No? Um, well, so, so what you're saying is it's not perfect? It's not perfect, but if you look at one, the seals aren't the same both sides. In what way? Because that end is totally different. It comes, oh. it wraps round, but then it turns into a sill with a lip. Yes, and it's different the other side. Yeah. And, but now it's the same this side. Ish. Ish. You can't see both sides at the same time, can you? <laughs> no, that's true. Will there be any wrinkles and wibbles and dibbles in it when you're finished? No, the anti-chip will be about an inch thick. Yeah. So, what's the next plan of action? So you've put that... Uh, we'll DA that off and put some filler on it. Now, I'm, I'm an idiot. What does DA mean? Dual action. Ah, okay. Where's your DA machine? Show me it's it. It's a sander, John. Oh, I see your sander, because DA to me is a polishing machine. So you'll DA sand it off yeah, put using some what? Fine grit? No. Heavy grit? You tell me. I don't know. I'm Sorry. an idiot. 50 grit. Right, 50 grit. And that shows you if there's any high spots. No high spots. Nah, I'm just going to take all that paint off now. I know there's no high spots, because yep. I did it by hand. Okay, fine. So what's the next port call? Take all the paint off and put some filler on it, mate. Okay, what are you using, the isopon stuff? Yeah. I can smell it now. Yeah, I've just been seeing what it was like. Is it any good? No. Oh. I've got to buy some more. Really? What's it done? Show me what it's, it's done. It's separated out like paint does. Oh, let's warm. have a look. It's gone off, has it? Didn't realise it had a shelf life. you say you was an idiot? Well, I am an idiot. Oh, I don't think that. I'm sure you're not. Oh, okay. I'm not a body car, body work expert. Oh, you know, no, no. Neither am I, don't Oh, no. We can't be doing with that, can we? No. Uh, so, you need some isopon buying. Fine. Okay. Well, that's quite expensive, a tin, isn't it? I should think so. Yeah, yeah it's not cheap. Yeah. Um, tell me. I don't know. How much is it going to cost you? Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? It's, it's not about the cash. It's about keeping this old cowley girl on the road. So you're going to fill it and then sand it back? Yes, mate. And then fill it again? I should think so. And then sand it back? Yeah. And then fill it again? Probably. How many layers of filler? It's not layers, it's just <laughs> that you find something that's not quite right and you do it again. And once it's filled, uh, then what? Oh, George. Paint it. It's there's some anti-chip on the bottom. Yeah. I've got to get some Schultz, mate. Some now, what Schultz? Stuff. It's That's the thick anti-chip. It's thicker than this stuff, yeah. That's, That's like paint, nearly, isn't it? Stone chip black. Oh, I see. Okay. The Schultz is like thick. thick. Yeah, it is, mate. Thick That's stuff. But that doesn't go all the way across no, the side. It's just all, the underside. It's just that bottom bit, isn't it? Mm. Long ear, look. It's show me, show me, show me. The long ear is that thick Schultz to this line here. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to do that, really, to get that. I'm guessing we're going to end up painting the whole seal, aren't we? Yeah. To make it look, make it look any good. Okay. And then what's next? Job done. <laughs> Put some <laughs> plugs, passing the under tray on. Yeah, I, I'm, I think a parcel's arrived today. It has, yeah. Two Should be parcels. a few few exciting bits and pieces. Uh, in there, some new plugs. I don't know what's come today. I'll tell you what's come. I've, I've, had, I've had the details. Mm. Yeah, we've got some new Platinum NGK spark plugs. Uh, is it NGK or NKG? One of them. Um, 
We've got some clips for you under tray because they're yeah. all broken, aren't they? Are they in the same packet? Uh, should be, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. All in the big box for this under tray. The big box is from Discount Rovers Bears. Yeah, that's got me spark plugs and my under tray clips and my floor mats, hopefully. But there's another box. Oh, yeah. We've got some headlight protectors. <laughs> no, it's not that big. Oh, that, that's, is that Discount Rovers Bears? No, that's from the wonderful world of eBay. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, I don't think they've come then. But yeah, we're getting there, aren't we? Sounding good. What do you want any headlamp protectors for? I'll take the headlamps out, kid. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Are you enjoying the process so far? Or are you bored of it now? Because a few people have been critical that you've been a bit bored of it. But I'm I, not I, a body man, am I? What, a, uh, not a body work man? No, 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 more of a mechanic. I think you're doing a grand job, to be honest with you. Um, I was very impressed with looking at your fabrication skills. You're on, we take the head off, do the valves. <sighs> it's, we're going to end up doing it, aren't we? We are going to end up doing the head. That's going to be a video. Um, how long has that taken you then today? So, so yesterday, how long did it take you to uh, sort of cut that piece to the right shape and, and bend it? Oh, I didn't do much yesterday. Well, I don't know what I was doing. I did a bit yesterday, but I've been all afternoon. Well, I've been nearly all day tinkering with it today. Yeah. Mm. So what's that? Seven hours? Eight no, hours? No, 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 no. Didn't start till about half past ten. It was nearly six o'clock. Yeah, but I was you know, cleaning up. Been, been out, been at it. Yeah, but I'm not. I've not been at it all the time. I suppose if you was working on it non-stop, it would be a job that took you what. Three or four hours. I ain't got a clue, me old mate. The, the issue you've got is you've got to let things dry when you get to the filling and prep. So it's not so much that, mate. You've got to just weld it and let it cool down. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, yeah. it's, it's too hot. And then Some people have criticised you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. For your uh, flammable material over the car whilst welding. Yeah, I don't blame them. It's a good idea. Uh, that, do you want to explain to people why you've got them sheets there? You don't want any sparks on your windows, do you? No, I suppose. If it was to spark, it would cause permanent damage. If you were to get a little bit of fire on there, you've got your uh, you've got your fire extinguisher yeah. next well, to you. Well, I can you. just rip it off and chuck it out the bloody door, can't yeah. I? Oh, who's that on the phone? It might be Rover 75. Now, the last thing you want is sparks on your glass, mate. Because sparks on your glass, you know what that does, don't you? I'm guessing it melts it. It makes a little blooming bobble on it and you can't ah, get it off. Ah, there you go. So ah, Sparks on your glass is terrible. Terrible idea. Good. Thank you very much for your hard work. You can, I'll let you answer it. the phone. Ooh, I think it's somebody trying to con us. It's somebody trying to con me. Oh, we don't want to speak to that person. No. Uh, thanks for your hard work. I'm enjoying every second of it. <laughs> no flammable problem. materials. Yeah, well, it is flammable. I ain't got any asbestos sheet. <laughs> Thank goodness. I've got, a I've got a welding mat somewhere. But, but some pe people are enjoying the content, so good. thanks very much for watching. Uh, it's well within the scope of the good DIYer. Really? You reckon? Yeah. You reckon this is a job that somebody that's yeah. half decent DIYer could do? Yeah. Good. I couldn't do that. I can probably change the spark plugs. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll be doing that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Uh, do you want to give us everyone a thumbs up? Double we'll thumbs up. Do. Double thumbs Legend. Up. Uh, thanks for watching. More coming uh, on the Rover 75, but Dad's getting there. He's been working very hard. Hope you've enjoyed the update. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on a quite a nice Saturday in Lincolnshire. It's the 2nd of February 2024 and uh, we're getting closer with the Rover 75. Dad's been really busy. Um, in fact, he's actually underneath the car now doing the oil and filter change. Um, with the sill repair, and in this video we're going to take a look at that sill repair, how we've got on so far, do a bit more work. Like I say, Dad is currently uh, doing the oil and filter change. We'll take a look at the uh, process of that. And also I'm going to put some new spark plugs in the car. Oh, and I've got some floor mats to go in as well. Um, little update video then on the Rover 75 for you on the channel. Sills and things. Hello, good morning. How are you? 
Hang on, let me. No, 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 no. I've got to get you wired for sound. There we go. Now oh, we can hear you. Uh, let me chin. Chuntering away. Oh, I put it down a wee bit then. Eh? Say, yeah. uh, there you go. Stick it there. Uh, how are you doing? You all right? Good, thank you. Enjoying your Saturday? Yes, thank you. What have you got there? Done some tree pruning. Oh, hang on a minute. Plumbing, eh? That's not pruning. That's plumbing. Murdering. Where are they all gone? Uh, you've been working hard on the Rover 75, as we've seen. We'll have a chat with you about the sill in a minute because there's been some sill repairs. Uh, what are you doing at the moment? What are you been up to? Changing the oil and filter, mate. Okay. Tell me about that. You take the oil out, you put some new oil in. <laughs> okay, so you've uh, you've drained... I was, you, you've stole my thunder a little bit because I was going to do a super duper video, which is how quick can you change the oil and filter on the Rover 75? But you, you've sort of kind of started without me. Um, so this is the oil. You've drained the oil out. You've taken the sump plug out. It doesn't look, doesn't look too bad, does it? I don't think so, mate. Not really. Um, the oil in there, in fact, is quite a nice little... <laughs> Reflection of the wheel there, looking good. Can we do some artistic shots in there. Um, I've bought some new oil. This is Manol 10W40. Uh, what are you doing there? You're <laughs> using your your remover tool uh, to open that. I've, as I say, I've bought some oil. 30 quid that drum was for a whole 20 litres. Uh, in fact, I got loads of oil at the same time. Got it at a good discount rate. Um, so you've got 10W40 there to go in the car. Have you put the new filter in already? Yes, mate. Ah, oh, the new filter's gone in. Um, that was three or four quid. It was a blueprint filter. Uh, how much oil does this take? Four and a half litres, I think. Four and a half litres. So first port of call is to top the oil up in the Rover. Um, looking at that oil that you've removed, would you say that we... We're doing a good job or an unnecessary the job? The oil filter's been on a long while. Oh, has it? it? Yeah. Where is the old oil filter? It's in the bin now. It's in the uh, recycling compartment for oil filters. Oh, right. Okay, very good. Uh, I'll take it to be recycled. Yes, yes. Message received. Uh, but um, the old one we can look at in a minute. Uh, there's your new oil going in. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. It's fine. Oil. That's oil, that is. That's oil, that is. Uh, four and a half litres putting it in obviously we can't check the levels because it's not on the on the deck um for those of us that are total idiots like myself and have never changed the oil filter in a rover 75 before can you explain the process really to me? easy one of the best oil filters in the universe to do it's right at the front of the engine it's horizontal you put your tool on it take it out easy peasy How it's not in an horrible place to get at it's the easiest job in the universe so what you're saying is i could do it Anybody could do it. <laughs> Anyone can do it. Uh, I'm sure there's somebody on YouTube who's got a how-to video to replace the oil and filter on a Rover 75. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? Yes, mate. I'm going to get under the car. And have a look at it. I'm going to have a look. Uh, that's it. Get some aerobic exercise. Oh, wow. Well, hey, I've been under a Mazda MX-5 this morning. Uh, more MX-5 content coming to the channel, by the way. We'll talk about that. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. So, real easy, isn't it? There's the sump plug uh, there, and there is the new oil filter. And it just unscrews and screws on. What torque have you done that to? It's tight, then as tight as you can get it with your hand. Oh, right, okay. So it's not torqued up? No. No, fine. Good, so there's your oil filter, literally hand, 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 hand. There's your sump plug, obviously. And then refill it with oil that's a nice little funnel you've got there tell me about that i'm going to tell you about it and look at it you can see what it is <laughs> that's a clever way of doing it is it it actually threads into there is it i'm yeah, assuming it's just the same it's the right thread to go in there good stuff so apart from uh doing the sump plug emptying and the oil filter replacement and the oil what else have you been up to i've been busy at that to uh, repair well the sill yes, We'll have a look at that in just a minute. That's all I've been doing, really. Looking good, though. It's a bit warmer in the garage today. It certainly is. You know, I, walked, I had the doors shut, and I walked near them, and the sun was beating on them, and it's quite warm in yeah, here. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful. Uh, like I say, I've just been to look at the Mazda MX-5. We've had the top off, and uh, it felt like a spring day. 
And I think we're going to get hit with some cold snaps quite soon. Have you lost count of how many you've put in now? No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. How many is that? That's four, mate. Yes, I've managed not to be distracted by the content. I've seen for sale your next project. Oh, good. It's a 2004 Rover 75 limousine. Oh, I look forward to uh, not seeing it. <laughs> you could get a limo in here, couldn't you? No. Uh, yeah, I think you could. I think you could. I don't want any more projects. No. Right, so the car is on the deck. Uh, four litres of oil in there. Dad's going to start the car up, get it warm, and then we're going to check the levels. Um, four and a half litres should be in the car, so we're expecting to be putting more oil in there. I've not heard this started up for a while. It's a clatter like hell, so. Here we go. Oh dear. I turned it off, don't worry. So what, what, what? I'm just letting the oil go up, mate. Yep. There she goes. There you are, old lady. And what is your rationale behind changing the oil and filter? We don't know how long it was done last, mate, do we? No. And looking at that oil, needed doing? The oil filter looked as though it hadn't been changed for a long while. So. Yeah. There we go. You can't tell what oil's like with just looking at it. Any tests you can do on it? You can send it away, have it done. I don't think we need to do that. No, I'm not going to bother that. <laughs> Where's the dipstick on these? That's down there. The dipstick's got a phone in his hand. Yes. Now, obviously, we were concerned that potentially the head gasket had failed or was weak. Any evidence of that in the oil change? No, mate. There's no, no water in the sump, no. Excellent news. Definitely not. You're not going to get to do the head gasket, I don't think. I... I'm not sad. <laughs> but you want to do it. I want to see this being admired by your followers at uh, Rustable. They're your followers, not mine. No. Can't go, your mum's poorly. You're, <laughs> you're the star. Your mum's going to be poorly. <laughs> People are coming just to see you. Oh, and and I've not told you yet, but we're also going to Pride of Longbridge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Although we're actually the Pride of Cowley. Will we be welcome? Who knows? Sounds good. I've never been to the Pride of Longbridge, have you? No. Ever been to Longbridge? I've never been to the Pride Rally at Longbridge, no. <laughs> it's not a Pride Rally. Oh. It's the Pride of Longbridge. You've been looking at pink fire engines. I have been looking at pink fire engines today, yes. Good. How long are we letting that settle? While you sort of do your business. I'm going to go put the kettle on. That's a jolly good idea, son. This isn't really as critical as a smart car. How, how do you mean? Oil? Yeah. Tell me more. Well, smart cars don't uh, respond well to having too much oil in them, do they? No. Smart cars are a bit more fickle. They're a bit funny with oil, the old smart cars. Got to treat your smart car with respect. Yeah. Which I don't. <laughs> I treat my smart car like a go-kart. That other purple one's diesel, isn't it? Well, that's local? Yeah. No idea. Yeah. The lady goes to the uh, swimming pool in it. Uh, if it's a diesel, it would probably say MHD on this. Back, but... yeah, it's definitely a diesel. It sounds, well, it sounds like a diesel. Either that or she's not been putting her oil in. No. I was thinking, you know, after our conversation... Which about conversation? About your cars. Oh, yeah. Audis don't rot, do they? Uh, some of them do. Do they? I suppose like anything. Yeah, what they've been, how they've been treated. It's how they've been treated, where they've been in the world. If you remember the silver Audi that's in my collection, the B5, 
it's been living most of its life up at Blackpool. It's not too bad, is it? No. It's it... not as bad as that old blue thing of yours. Which blue thing? Jibonk. It's not as rusty as it is. It's really rusty, isn't it? What, underneath? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, I've not been underneath it. Yeah, Jibonk's ever so rusty. That silver one's not as rusty. It's rusty in places. What I'm saying is underneath it's not. No, fair enough. Out of all of my cars in my collection, what is the most rusty? <laughs> it's probably my MR2, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's rust for with, fun. With this, with this a close second, I think. Really? It's, it's generally sort of fairly sort of flaky all over, isn't it? It's not had much rust protection in its life. No. It all depends on how they've been looked after, mate, doesn't it? You know, you've got really old blinking uh, protons with hardly any rust on them, and you've had newer ones that are rotten. Yes. Yeah, but I've had... I've, see, my this, re this wouldn't have gone rotten. When you take that off, you can see the wax ain't got in there. Oh, what, in the... In the no, this is all cavity wax has got here. But in there, there's bits where it's not cavity waxed. Mm. So that's why it's gone, isn't it? Has that been done from factory, or has that yeah, been I think done? just the processes didn't catch it, did they? But they're not designing them to last for 20 years, are they, mate? No. Throw away things, motor cars. For example, Mum's Hyundai. Yeah, it'll not last that long, will it? Her previous car lasted, what, 20 years? Yeah. Which was a Corsa C. Again, that was killed by rot and it was it's when I started welding it was the time for it to go uh, but mum's car's now what five six seven years old it won't last another 20 years will it I wouldn't have thought so and they're, and they're you know reflected in the price I suppose but they say the engines blow up on them what on Hyundai i tens? yeah oh. it doesn't have to go well depends how they're driven if you drive it like it's a motorbike it's a uh, well, I drove it home, and uh, I can tell you it was it was a good old drive. But if you whiz it up like a motorbike, it drives quite well. Will we see a notable performance improvement now we've done the oil and obviously the spark plugs as well? You will with the plugs, mate, will you? Yeah. But you're not with the oil, you aren't, will you? You'll not notice it. You'll not notice it, mate. I'm looking forward to actually driving it. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to get it to the Rustable. Should we sell it at the Rustable? I think you should do a raffle. Yeah, <laughs> you could do. Do a raffle. Five pound a ticket. <laughs> There'll be some disappointed person who wins it, won't there? I mean... <laughs> no, I mustn't say that. It's... You are getting in trouble on the internet yeah. for, for bad-mouthing the uh, last British motor car. And I'm, I'm, No, I did notice. I did notice. Yeah. yeah. We must be proud of our heritage. We must be proud. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I don't want an A35. I want an Ilman Minx to do next. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I suppose you get a bit jaded when you've been working in a main dealer for a long while. I mean, you could be out enjoying your retirement on your motorbike, and yet you're stuck in here on your Saturday sorting this out for me. Yes, it might be a nice day. Isn't it? Beautiful It'd day. Be older no, no, Spilsby no. TT, wouldn't Lovely. it? Right, so, we've done, the oil and, we've done the oil and filter change. What else have you been up to? Are you going to show me your seal repair? What would Rover have done been like? That's what I want to know. What's that? If they'd gone into bed with Honda instead of BMW. It must have been a political reason that they didn't. See, now, they was already connected to Rotonda. There's probably people out there would know the who know a lot more about the ins and outs of that than me and you. You obviously know about it from a main dealer perspective. Uh, well, Rover was collaborating with Honda, weren't they? Yeah, of course. This is a Honda. Uh, the Rover Forty Five is a Honda Civic, right? Yeah. Um, and the two-liter versions of these have the Honda engine in. No, do they? Yeah. Do, 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 do. KV6, it's the K-series engine, isn't it? They're over 800 and they're under engine in. 
I am pretty sure that I bought one of these and it had a Honda, I oh know it had a BMW engine. Diesel. BMW diesel engine. My bad, see? Uh, so oh, right on the V6 had the Honda engine in. Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously the chassis. Yeah. What, what other Honda stuff did Rover do with? Try it for claim. Started there. That was a Honda. Was mm. it? Yeah. There you go. It's it definitely Honda Mechanicals. So, as you say, a lot of it's political. Must have been, wasn't it? A lot of it's we political. Was, we couldn't believe it, you know, when they said, right, they've been bought out. Oh, you think the obvious place was Honda. Yeah. But no, they didn't. BMW. Yeah, which was a good thing. <laughs> they got what they wanted, then dumped it. Well, that was Mini, wasn't it? BMW wanted a Mini. I don't know, mate. No, but, no, but no, I'm right in thinking, BMW wanted Mini. I would guess so. That's what they took in the end, wasn't they? They took Mini. <sighs> Do you think they wanted to keep Rover in the long term? I should have thought so. In the, I think the grand scheme of things, that's probably what And it just went wrong? Yeah, it's just the way of the world, isn't it? You know, it all depends about economics and what sort of cars people are buying. But what, so what was, the, what was the last car that Rover released? Streetwise, right? Yeah, but that was in collaboration with Honda still, wasn't it? We were still using Honda, because the Streetwise was a Rover 200, which is... Which is a Rover 25. No. So, so the, last, the last Rover car ever produced is a 75? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Quite special, then. It is, yes. Yeah. It is. Special. Very good. I wonder what the last Rover 75 is. Yeah, they're real funny, aren't they? Paul, Paul Folks had one, didn't he? It's got all sorts of different sort of stuff on it, like a bit of a bits of special. What, like, just to use all the stuff up? Yeah. The management had them, didn't they? I don't know. Mm. I believe so. It'd be interesting. Some people that are interested in the history of the motor trade will be. Somebody out there will know where the last Rover 75 produced is. I know when we were at Gowley, we found a row of six R4s in the car park. What are they? That vehicle they built for a rally. They're the rally cars, aren't they? Yeah. Am I right in also thinking? The British Motor Museum now have on loan some prototypes. Really? Yeah, they've been saved. They've got. Oh, they found them at Longbridge. Yeah, there, right? yeah. I think we'll be able to see them at Rustaval, because again, Rustaval's. I'm, at the... I'm to be honest with you, I'm looking forward to it because I want to see some of that sort of stuff. Yeah, I've never, I've never obviously been to the Motor Museum, um, so that's. Well, that's... bizarrely enough, I'd got in my mind that was going. Me and you was going to have a road trip there sometime this year, and Dan me he suddenly says, "What about Rustaval?" There Where you is... go. Uh, Road trip to the British uh, Motor Museum. Really like that. It's the sort of thing at Gaydon. You'd be interested in. Yeah, absolutely, ab absolutely, uh, yeah, absolutely. You'd be interested in going to the National Motorcycle Museum. Where's that? S Stansted? No, it's near Meriden, isn't it? On the side of Coventry, between Coventry and Birmingham. Well, we've been to the National Motor Motorbike Museum for some reason. Have you? Well, we've been past it. We've been past it. Yeah. We've when we've been going on holiday. The airport. Oh, that's it. There we go. Well, but I can't imagine, even though I'm interested in motorbikes, and there's that many motorbikes there, you can get fed up looking at them. Too many motorbikes. It's, it's amazing, it's wonderful. Right, so that's it then. Oil and filter changed. How long does that take you? Point two. What? What's that? <laughs> 20 minutes? That's, that's how long you'd get to do it in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much are you charging the customer? <laughs> hey, nothing to do with me. Uh, so what, 20 minutes? Point two, it's ten minutes, isn't it? Ten minutes. Oh, you tell me. That so that, that is that's that's all done. Uh, I'm gonna have a cup of tea in a minute, but just tell us about what else you've been doing. What else have you done on the Rover Seventy Five? I've done this here seal mail. Let's mate, have a look. Let's talk us through At that the moment one. now. She's uh, because last time she's we, shrinking back now. So the last video we did, uh, you'd got it fitted. Yeah. You'd got it welded on. Yep. And you'd 
ground it off to get rid of the height, see if there's any high spots. You've got it, mate. And now, from what I can see, the sill is on. It's mm. flatted back. What I've done, I've etch primed it. Then I filled it, shaped it up, and that's got that uh, spray putty on now to fill any imperfections. Oh, right, spray putty, never heard of that. Well, it's just like spray on filler, really. Huh? Have you had to put much filler in there? No. <laughs> 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 no. Have you have you had to put much filler in there? No. <laughs> Pinocchio. Yes. There's no, there's not, mate. There's not. Joking apart, I had two goes at it. Looking good. Yeah, I only had two goes at it, the filler. Let's have a look down the can we see it's been done? Yeah. Yeah. Where we can. can you see it? Because it's a different colour. Where can you see it? Well, there's a lip here. Yeah. That's that you can see. A lip there. Is there like a... Yeah, that's... It was flying off. Yeah. A spray putty. Looks good, though, doesn't it? That's I not your first rodeo at that. I can't see the join. Well, you can't see it. Run your hand down it. That's what you want to do. <laughs> Ah, uh, you've done a good job there. It's good for a shed job. That's all right, isn't it? I think so. If you run your hand down it, you'll feel it better than see it. Well, I can't feel it. Certainly didn't take as much filler as I thought it would. That's a Billy Bones, yeah. isn't it? Oh, I can see you've obviously masked it off there. Well, masked it off because I've been flattening that down, mate, ready yep. for painting. Have you got some Schultz? No, I'm not going to bother to Schultz it. It doesn't matter what it looks like underneath, does it? It just looks a bit different underneath. The, the side will be the same. Because I could use anti-chip and it'll... Yeah? It's not good going out and buying a load of blinking Schultz when we've got more anti-chip than an anti-chip shop. An anti-chip chip shop? Yeah. You know what I mean? If you look under I do. Here, yeah, look, you can tell... Let's move this heater out for a second. Yeah. See, up here... Yeah. That's the real thick old stuff they used. Yeah. And it's got a lip there. Oh, you've turned your heater on there. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, good, mate. Good, mate. I'm not going to panic. Just, I'm wanting it to shrink back, mate. I'm not doing anything yeah. else to it now for a couple of days. No. Just let it shrink back and dry out. If you try to rush it, then when it shrinks back in a month's time, you'll see all the lines. Yeah. Ivan Wilson's dad would have left it outside for a fortnight. That's all right, that is, isn't it? Oh, That's God. what the old timers did, they left them outside. It's got some thick there because it's got some pinholes. It's got to be flatted off it. No, you've done a good job. Touch wood. So the next, next, next step on that then. Just leave it there till Monday. Yeah. Yeah, I'll paint it on Monday. I'll flat it off and paint it on Monday. How many coats are you going to give it? It all depends on how much black paint you bring me. Got loads of black paint, mate. Right? You better bring me some black paint then. And then... I'm guessing you're going to do the other side? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not. It will need doing at some point in its life. In my ownership, no doubt. Who knows? But at the moment, it doesn't need doing. You've done a grand job there, I'm Your impressed. Your next mechanic will do that. My next mechanic, when I, when that's I, going to be Amy. When I go to, when I run off to uh, my favourite holiday destination. Mablethorpe. <laughs> Number one in Mablethorpe. Right, thank you very much. Thanks for showing us what you've done. Oil and filter and, and that. Looks good. There you have it then. Another busy day, kind of, in the Rover 75 workshop. Things that's been done. Oil and filter. Got some new plugs in. I've put my floor mats in now, and Dad has got the sill to a point where we actually can't do much more on it for a few days. Um, we're getting there. We're nearly there with the Rover 75. It's going to be paint the sill and get it taxed and insured and on the road. And I'm going to obviously then run it for a little while to make sure that the old head gasket is okay. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. 
Uh, what would you like to see us do next? Maybe some suggestions? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Everyone that has subscribed, you're all absolute legends. Close to 4,000 now, so if you can subscribe and help out, that'd be awesome. Thanks to Dad as ever. Till next time, take care. Goodbye. I literally one minute out of the video. Well, you need to do nothing, and you're crashing and bashing and making a noise. You're going to do it again? Yeah, I'm going to have to do it again, aren't I? I'm going in the house out of the way. Can you uh, get out the way, please? Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here for an update with you on the Rover 75. Dad's been really busy. There's been so much work happen in the past month. This video is an update on the repair of the rusty sill. So much so that Dad is very much nearly there. You can hear him in the background being noisy as usual, doing stuff, because for whatever reason, he can't keep still whilst I'm trying to film an introduction. Anyway, he's been really busy, um, got the new sill shaped. If you haven't seen that video on the channel, it's on there. Now we had an issue with uh, the replacement sill in that it was trash. Dad's managed to make good out of that. He's welded it onto the car with a bit of extra fettling and fabrication. It's been filled, it's been flatted back, and now we're gonna see what stage he's at today. You can come in now, I've finished doing my intro. <laughs> Noisy. Hello. Sorry. How are you? <laughs> All right, mate, thanks. <laughs> we're in your workshop and you're with the Rover 75. Uh, that's a nice big custom side stripe down the side. I like that. I could draw on that, couldn't I? I could draw, I don't know, Pete's Autos nice. or something. Just to make it protect it when you parked it, as it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, right, so we've we've had lots of sill updates on the Rover 75. With you, there's part one, two, and three on the channel. This is the latest update. Uh, talk us through it. Well, I've got much to say, really, so I can't remember what we did before. Uh, we've, got the, we've got the patch put in, the metal work. Then we put some primer on it, and then we flatted it off to see where the eye spots were. There weren't any silly eye spots. So we DA'd it all off. I put some filler on it, I shaped it. I found a bit of a low spot, so I had another coat of filler, shaped it, and I was really happy with it, really pleased with it. And how are you feeling now? It's come up a treat at the moment, hasn't it? So from what I can see, in fact, let's have a look at it. Let's sh show us the sill, show us it, let's have a look. Listen, all we did was put a patch in just here, mate, didn't we? So that patch that we've put in there, yeah, well, actually, I can't, I can't see it. I can't see where that patch, patch was. in there, isn't it? And it goes down to here. And there's that bit underneath, mate, wasn't there? And there's a piece I've put in the back here as well. Let's have a look at that. Oh, that's grand, that is. Look at that. So, I can't see, really, where you've... Put that in, there's no this, lumps. The reason I wanted to get a sill mill, mate, is because this back end is a bit... It's not just a shape, it's shaped. But the new sill hadn't got this shape anyway. No, really. so you've had to a, fabricate that. It was a total... Or I reckon if we was in a garage with basic bodywork tools, like a roller and a guillotine and a bender, we could have made one like that, couldn't we? Yeah. For how much? Ten quid? Yeah, less than that, <laughs> couldn't you? <laughs> But well, uh, it's cost 60. Somebody with better fabrication skills could have probably done it, but, well, they would have done it by hand. But, uh, Are you happy? Are you happy there, so far? We? Well, we're not, we're not there yet. Yeah. We've still got some painting to do, haven't we? Yeah, be, but yeah. you've got some satin black on there. I Just can't like, see any anti-chip. Yeah, the, the bottom edge is all anti-chipped, mate. Oh, is it? Yeah, up, up to about here. All that bottom edge. If you run your hand on it, you'll feel it. That's how I feel. Yeah. The bottom edge is all anti-chip. Oh, yeah, I can feel that. Yeah. And obviously, That's not. this bit isn't done yet. It's not completed because it does. It does look patchy. You know, you can yeah, see some, patches it's here. It's got and a here. coat of satin where there's less paint. Yeah, we don't want to want three coats of paint up there, are we? No, no, that makes it's, sense. It's already painted. Yes, it? it will look daft. So, what's left now then? Just paint it. Just paint that off. Paint it, and then when it's dried off, we'll wax it. Yeah, with some waxy oil. Yeah, I've got that ready to do. And then put the plug back in. I've put some holes in, as you know. Let's have a look. Let's have a look underneath. It's got two drain holes. What? Oh. Punch through from the inside. Oh yeah. So this is your repair underneath here as well. That's the jacking point, isn't it? Yes, mate. And then you've put that hole in. What I've you put, put that hole in there for? Well, if it gets water, it can get out. Is that a, 
would it have had a hole there? No, or? they don't. Okay, so you've put a few drain holes in I there. Put a couple of drain holes in. I can see all this here is looking a bit. This is a bit more smooth here yeah, than here. The original Schultz adhesive seam sealer stuff is really thick, isn't it? Yeah, we've obviously not got any of that no, on there. Any of that. We're going to wax all all that. Actually, once you get some blooming road spray and stuff on there, you're never going to see it, are you? Um, okay, good. Looking good so far. And then it's just a case of painting it. Then it's done. Then what will you do? You'll be bored. Your mum's got plenty of plans. <laughs> um, we know the other side is a bit tender. I'm not going to poke it. If anybody pokes it, you can do. <laughs> do you think it's going to need doing at some point? It is, yeah. Yeah, but we could use that metal sill that we've already got to do it. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. So keep well, you busy I over winter. The other side. No, I don't think so. It'll look like Frankenstein's monster. Are you happy with the process? Are you happy with what you've done? It's come up better than I expected, to be honest. Has it? I put yeah. the profile gauge on it, yeah. and it's not far out at all. Well, I can't see. Yeah. I can't see that you've done it. I've, done a, I've put a profile gauge on it, and it's not far out at all. My concern is when you take all this cardboard off and all this... The sill is going to stick out like a sore thumb because it'll look like a new penny. It will, won't it? Yeah. If it does, I suggest we flat it off with some scotch bright just to take the shine off it. Yeah. It'll, it'll go So it's finished time up anyway. more, this... Yeah, I... It's I, almost I, matte, isn't it? Yeah. But it is, that's what, it's gonna, that's what it's gonna look like. Are we gonna paint the other side? Uh, no. No? No. Oh, I was gonna suggest we paint the other side to the same so it matches. It'll need flatting and I shouldn't... I think you'll leave well alone. <laughs> leave the other side alone. You, you see, can't think, see both sides at the same time. No, that's true, that is true. I think if we start flatting as well, we might find some holes, might we? Yep. Good, you've done a good job there. Uh, thank you very much. Um, as long as you're happy with how it looks, not, and I suppose as long as I'm happy as well, because well, yeah, I'm you're, the customer. You're fussy the customer. Yeah, I am fussy. I am very fussy when it comes to this sort of thing. Um, but you're happy with it? Yeah. Like cool. I say, I was, I was made up the second, the second coat of filler, I was happy with it, yeah. And roughly how long has it taken you? Oh, mate, just not, not long really, has it? Got to keep coming out and doing a bit when I feel like it. Couple of days. Like the welding, I just kept doing a bit and then I went away so it can cool down. Cause some people blow it with an airline, but you think about it, how do you shrink metal? You cool it quick, don't you? Mm. So I just kept doing a little bit and then going off and doing something Make else. It cool, doing a bit entertaining more. Entertaining your mum. And um, what stopped it from warping? Because a lot of people have said, oh, it's not, not rush. rush. Yeah, just by taking your time. Yeah, not rush. Do it steady, be patient. Do a little bit and go away. So a lot of people are going to be thinking now that, that you're going to do this one. <laughs> You'll have people queued round the block to do no, sill repairs. No, I'm not good enough to do it for the paying public. I don't know. I've seen worse out of body shops. A body shop that I won't yeah, name publicly. You, you never saw it, but there was one that went to the Festival of the Unexceptional and it had got the black scorch marks up the door where they'd just blasted a sill patch on quick. <laughs> what car was that? I don't know what it was, but it drove past us when we was watching. It'll be on the uh, it's, it's Festival of the Unexceptional It's been a mad video. rush to get it done anyway. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, do you think? But, uh, well, like I say, there's some body shops that I've had experience with in the past, locally, that I will uh, not name publicly, who are uh, meant to be the best in the business, and I think you've done a better job than them. Oh, well, it's, it's not as though it's not like a bonnet, is it, or something? It's only a blinking Well, it's a black sail, isn't it? Yeah. But, you know, it's a bit different to doing a wing or a bonnet, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, not to, I'm not good enough for that. I'm a spanner swinger, mate. I'm not a, uh, a top tip, though. What you got there? Bit of coving. It's just the ideal shape for shaping sills. Is it? Good <laughs> job <laughs> it's not polystyrene. <laughs> no. It wouldn't matter, would it? Well. But a bit of coving, just the right shape it is. There you go. So what's next for the Rover 75? We're going to do that under tray things, aren't we? Oh yeah, yeah, we're going to put the under tray back on. We've got some parts for that. Yep. I can see you've got your waxy oil here. Has that stuff changed its name? Uh, it's different. It wax looks the same, but it's different in Alfords. What, wax oil? I don't know. It's I've got no idea. It's got a different name on the tin. <clears throat> I uh, was going to use Lanagard, but I think that's the wrong sort of thing for this job. 
I don't know what this is. This is what we're going to be what's using. That, what's that stuff? Oh. Ixol SPR double C. Where do you get that from? It's what comes from the Renaults. Oh, what's that? So Renault would provide you with that. It's what you got from the stores when you wanted some. Yeah. And it's, it goes in the sills. Fair enough. I've never seen a rusty Renault. <laughs> Let's see. Renault. Does that, though, when you put that in, give you your standard Renault electrical faults? No. <laughs> That's all to do with the wires. So, sills on, sills done. It's ready for the rust of all. Winner, winner. Under tray to go on. Then what have we got to do with the car? I'm, I'm genuinely struggling to think what we've got left to do. You've got a list there. There's a dribbling cam seal. We're not going to worry about that yet. Yeah. The offside front tyre goes down. Yeah. The we aircon's know about got a leak, but we'll probably not rush and do out about that. Yeah. And that's about it, really. Clean it up. Clean it up. Yeah. Get it on Car and Classic. 1,500 quid. Jobs are good in. <laughs> we've got to go to the Rustival, is it? Yeah, we're going to Rustival, we'll which I'm back. looking forward to. As long as we don't come back on a transporter, I can't be doing with that. Yeah, that would be bad news, wouldn't it? Yeah. Are you going to take some oat coolant with you to Rustival? I'm going to fill the boot with tools. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, enjoy the bodywork process or not? No. Um, a spanner swinger? I can, I'm a spanner swinger. I'm not what I'd call a good body man. I'm not a good body man, son. I think you've done a good enough job there anyway. It is for a sill, isn't it? I reckon this battery's not over good. Well, let's not worry about that right now. Yeah. Right, that's it then. Uh, thanks for watching. That's your sill update. Um, there will be a final, this is the sill, doesn't the sill look wonderful video. Um, but we're nearly there, very nearly there. Uh, thanks to Dad, thanks for watching, thanks to everyone that's liked, subscribed, uh, commented. What do you reckon? Uh, let's have some comments please down below for Dad's job on the sill. I'll show you up close before we finish again. Here is the sill, here is the job. A little bit of paint left to go on there and then we can remove all the masking and stuff like that and have a good look at it. Last word from you. Keep looking after them classic cars. Oh, keep looking after them classic cars. That's, that's a good line to finish on. Take care. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here. As you can see, I'm outside. We've got the Rover 75 outside of Dad's workshop. And although it's a bit dusty, we are one step closer to getting it done and dusted. The sill repairs are complete. I will show you those in just a moment's time. But first, let's have a chat with Dad, see what he thinks, get his uh, first look at this in the daylight, because we've not looked at this in the daylight yet. Um, and see what he's done since we last spoke to him. Hello. Aha. Yeah, <laughs> How are you? All right, thank you. What are you doing there? Tightening the wheels up, mate. Now, don't let me stop you. Don't let me stop no, the workers. Okay, I won't. Uh, as you can see then, uh, we've got the car outside, as I've said in the introduction. Uh, it's pretty much nearly there. We're going to take a look at that sill repair. Um, he talks the wheels up. Talk. Not talks. Talk, not talk, not talks, of course. You're talking the wheels up. Have all the wheels been off, have they? Don't think, have they? I don't know. I'm not sure, I can't remember now. I've no idea. Uh, how's it looking? It's looking good, mate. Happy? Happy? Mmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. But is the job done, is, is what I'm asking. The sill's done, mate. Yep. The sill's it's all done. waxed up and ready to go. Okay, we'll take a look at that in just a minute and we'll have a chat with you about that. Good. Uh, them wheels need a good clean, don't they? And actually the whole car needs a good clean, as you can see. It's got all this uh, dust and dirt on there. Uh, it's the first time I've seen her in the daylight for oh, maybe a month. She's looking good, isn't she? Good stuff. Right, okay, so let's take a look. At, I, I'm sorry, I was just getting a little bit... Uh, distracted by and you can see it's a horrible murky day in fact I think it's going to rain I don't know about you I think it is me old blowing mate. up for rain and it's quite windy um, it's so this is the first time we've got 
the Rover 75, the old Cowley girl, in the daylight for about a month. What do you reckon? Well, it's better than it was, isn't it? Looking okay. Talk us through this sill and let's take a look at the sill because you've not seen this sill in the daylight either, have you? I haven't. Uh, ready? Big reveal. <laughs> there is the repaired sill. Let's take a look at it down that angle as well. From there, I can see you've put the sort of sill jacking pad in there. And there is all that side of the sill. Happy? What's wax, that? The wax has got a long way up. What's that wax? Okay, so when we what? last spoke, you were in the garage and you were applying aerosol. Uh, we did that last night, didn't we? That was yesterday. Um, what have you done since then? Just waxed it this morning, put the wheel arch liner back in, stuck the jacking pad in and that's your lot. You've not added any more paint since we last saw, saw you? No. So you've taken off all the uh, masking. Masking okay, nothing, no damage to anything? No, it's all right, mate. Yeah, because sometimes if you leave masking tape on, you can get that residue on the paint, can't you? Um, and then you've been waxing it. Talk us through that process. You get your wax oil thing and you stick it in the holes and you squirt it. And have That's you done that all the way along the sill? I've only done this back end. Yeah. You see it's dripping out as far as the middle. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's dripping out. I'm going to have a real good... And it's not the best day to be doing this. It's a bit this, windy, Because it's a bit it? windy and it's a bit grey. It's a bit pants, really. It's a bit naff. Uh, let's take a look in here, see what we can see. Can't see a lot of anything. Can't see really. a lot of anything, as you quite rightly say, uh, because, well, it's it's not a great day. But look at that. You've done a good job there, you know. It's not bad for a shed, is it? Are you happy with the job? Are you happy with the... Yeah, it's come out all right. Especially when I've looked at the other side and it looks the same. Yeah, let's go take a look at the other side. So, hang on a minute, that's what this side looks like. Bearing in mind this is all nice and shiny and new and freshly painted. Um, let's take a look at the other side. Dee, 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 dee. That's this side. A little bit of rust on there at the back. I'm just talking about the shape of and it. And the mate. shape, yeah. Yeah, it looks the same as to the other side. Part of me's thinking we should paint this sill. Part of me's thinking you can leave it alone. What do you say? Part of me's thinking you can leave it alone. You reckon you wouldn't just blast it over with a bit of paint? No, just to tidy it up. In fact, I'm going to put a 10 foot exclusion zone around that side. <laughs> what at the rust of all? Yeah. Don't come near this side. Don't, <laughs> don't look at this bit. We've Back not done, up against the wall. We've not done this bit yet. Uh, yeah, come look at this side. This yeah. side's nice. I'm chuffed with that. It's I think you. Right. I think you should be too. Considering right, oh, last week when we got that piece of tin from Amazon for sixty odd quid, and you were spitting feathers about it. Well, yeah, because I half expect. Well, as soon as it's handed. You'd yeah. have expected that it would have the different shape just yeah. here. But a That's week and a bit onwards now. So they've got the nerve to put a sticker on it to say it's the right-hand side and it's the same as the left-hand side. Yeah. It's just a bit of bent tin. Total pants, mate. But considering where we were last week with this and where we are now, how well, are you still feeling now? Yeah. It's all right. Come out all right, aren't you? Yeah. Thank you very much for your hard work. I, uh, of course, am appreciative of it. Would you do it again? Probably going to have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you are, I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah. We know probably, the answer to that. Probably going to have to do. We, we know the answer to that. The other yeah. side needs doing. I'm, um, not gonna, I'm not even looking at the other side. It's not got any holes in yet, has it? That'll be a job for after the rust of all. Maybe that's something we can do between now and the Pride of Longbridge, but... Who knows? It's not as tender as the other side was, is it? I'm not going to put judgment on it. I'm not <laughs> touching it. <laughs> what we're saying is, we know it needs oh, doing. It does, mate. And we'll do it. We will do it, won't we? Uh, but maybe not today. No. no. Not, this, not this blinking decade. <laughs> It'll be done, I'm afraid.
Your man wants a front room doing, and I've got my cars to do. Wow, and we've got hard standing today. We've got lots got of own, lots you, of work to do. I've got my own cars to do, and my own life to have this year. Happy with the way it's turned out, though, honestly? because it's, no, it's turned out well. Because I know that you can be super critical of your own work, and I know that I can be super critical of your own work, no. because I'm an absolutely nuisance of a customer. I'm a massive perfectionist. Um, I don't think you can see it's been done. Not from the outside. You can underneath. You can tell underneath. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. If you're going to do the other side, you want to get a blinking panel from old matey boy. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. It's not worth the ass. We're not going to. We're not going to use the rest of that panel, no. Well, yeah, my brain was saying that, but the amount of ass I had shaping that to make that the right shape. Yeah. I can understand it's a bit of a waste of time, but you know, I was a day getting that the right shape. Yeah. It's not worth your time, is it, for the, yeah, for the if, sake of 60 You probably don't twig that it's, it's not the same curve, you see, it float. Can you see? It's got like a, a lip on, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It sort of flares, because it goes from wrapping round to being a conventional spot welded line there. Yeah. I understand. If you come round and look at this side. And again, we've got to ignore the rust. See, it's wrapped around there. Show me, show me, show me. It's wrapped around there. Yeah. And it comes to here. Yeah. A bit further along. And it along. flares it, out. And it flares down to be a conventional sort of yep. spot welded along there. It's not too bad, actually, is it? Not too bad. It's not. It needs tidying up at this no. end. There's a little bit of rust there, but I'm not worried see, about I had that. See, another thing I had to do, you see, I had to make that bit and stick yeah. it on, weld it on. With a piece of metal, because it wasn't obviously provided. No. No. But uh, what I'm trying to get at is they've got the nerve to stick a sticker on it, so seal right hand. Well, it's the same as the left hand. Nonsense, that, isn't There's it? There's no, no difference. Just, a, just piece a bit of, of bent tin. A bit of bent tin. Yeah. Good. Well, the sill is done. That is another part of the Rover 75 saga completed. Uh, what's left? Put the under tray on. Yes, that's a job to do. Tax and insure it and give it a buzz up the road. Yeah, and hopefully the uh, head gasket's okay. It will obviously drive a million times better than it did 28 right. days ago. It's had new spark plugs, new oil, new filter, new coolant. The coolant's not been done yet. Well, no, the coolant hasn't been done yet. We've got to do that. The coolant's not been done, old boy. That is a job we're going to have to do, isn't it? If I was you, I should run it first for a day or two. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Well, I can cross some stuff off the list. What have you got now? What are you, what are you crossing off? Stuff. Yeah, so we just want... New coolant. Yeah, I've just got it on there. Don't forget that. Yes. Cross that off as well. Good stuff. Nice. So we've got to. Job done. What we've got to do big ends, uh, pistons and liners. <laughs> you can take your big ends and your pistons and liners <laughs> and you can put them on a different car. No, I'm chuffed. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's come up all right, matey. I suppose the next bit is going to be, as you say, running it. it and for me, it's going to be cleaning it. Giving it a blooming good scrub. Because the interior, well, I'll show you the interior, is in desperate need of some love. Look at that steering wheel. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. But we're getting there. We are certainly getting there. Right, I'll leave you with uh, the last look of the sill before we finish this video. If you've enjoyed the sort of mini series of dad repairing this sill, let me know in the comments below. What did you reckon? What do you reckon to the overall job? I think he's done a good job or could you have done better? Let me know. We'll have this back seat in while you're here. What are you doing? I'm going to put this back seat back in. Oh, yeah. You're oh, you still there. got that out, have you? Oh, well, yeah, because it's... Oh, yeah. Oh, crikey. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you've been welding, haven't you? We'll get that put back in then. Let's have a look in there quick. 
Oh yeah, jobs are good. Right, last word from you on this video. Last word? Yeah, what do you reckon? It's good. Happy? Happy. Top of the H-A-P-P-Y. Thanks for watching. If you uh, haven't already subscribed, please do so. If you do like the video and the content that we're doing, let us know by uh, hitting the like button. And uh, what do you reckon? What do you reckon to Dad's job? Comment down below, please, if you uh, think he's done a good job. Till next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> next bit will be cleaning it. Take care, goodbye.